Rick Stone. You've been doing a lot of talking. Dogs bark, snakes hiss, but Marcus Burke bites. You've been flying high, clear skies, but you're putting yourself in front of a storm. The storm of the century. And tonight, Riddick Stone, I finish it. Vegan! Deserving TV champion, Rockstar. Dazzling Dick Durning is high flying, he's hard hitting. He may very well be the total package here in IHW. Once again, I haven't heard a louder crowd yell that word than this place. Myself and three other men will step into this ring. Sure, why not? He is a fighting champion. Will you let me cut this promo, please? When I won this title, I went through Steve Arsenault, what? that American what? whatever his name is, Fantana in a ladder match, Fantana again at the 10 year anniversary. Greaser, but I can't count that really, you know. He cheated, you know, he's greasy. Greasy, <laughs> as he says, I don't know. So if three men want to come out here right now and take a shot at my belt, the more the merrier. Here he comes, the next. Innovative Hyper Wrestling TV Champion, your country idol, Chris Hicks, Daddy. Well, here's no threat at all. Trust me, I know from experience. Nothing, Rockstar? Nothing? I just choose to ignore Ugly over there. Chris Hicks makes his way to the ring, microphone in hand. Is down and everybody in the crowd gets loud. What's the game never gonna be the same? Woo! There is love, my boots, and I walk in through the curtain. The crowd 
Rockstar, settle down, sir. I've seen better singing in a bad karaoke bar. You shut your word, old angel. Chris Hicks up on the apron, microphone in hand. Some of these ice W kids need to lay off the pizza. I haven't heard a worse case of Millie Vanilli in 20 years. Wow. <laughs> I think he was too busy arguing with the crowd to even hear that. Know your place and shut your face. <laughs> I love him. TV champion right there, Shut Daddy. How we even got in this match I is beyond me. I am the four-wheel riding, dirt road driving, don't need luck because he's hard as truck. My name is Chris Hicks. My name is Chris Hicks, and I'm your country idol. <laughs> Listen to that. Yeah, that is awesome. Adulation. He's showing confidence. I can't deal with these people. I don't think it's going to help, but he's showing confidence. <laughs> and now, the big man himself, oh, no. Remy Petit, on his way to the Why ring. Why is he even coming out? Is he hungry? He's going to eat the belt? And the IHW fans have their hands in Look at the crowd showing their support for Remy Petit. They love this guy. Vixen now waving the Acadian flag. Look at her working the pole as usual. Come on, Rockstar. That is a lady, sir. No, that is a trollop. That is Vixen, the first lady of IHW, Rockstar. Show some respect. Really? Greaser Jimmy Carr has made quite an impact here since his debut in IHW. Some love him, some hate him. Eh, I could take him or leave him. Wait, where's Harley Havoc? I was just about to ask the same thing, Rockstar. Where's Harley Havoc? That is a very good question, you two. Maybe they're worried about the cheating that Vixen is bound to compose herself Oh, on. come on. I'll tell you one thing, that beater tan on Chris Hicks is blinding. I was backstage earlier today. I was trying to talk to Greaser. He didn't have any time to talk to me. I have to say, guys, I am confused as to where Harley Havoc is. Maybe they just know that this audience can't handle that much gorgeousness. Give me a break, Rockstar. The TV title is oh, on the it line. Lo it looks like the trollop's leaving. Good. Matt Pettifer calls for the bell, and we are underway. Fatal four-way rules. Remy Petit, Chris Hicks, the greaser Jimmy Carr, and TV champion Dazzling Dick Durning. You'll never hear me say this again, but Chris Hicks has a chance at winning this thing. This is probably the best odds Chris Hicks has ever had. Look at this. We look like... Oh, double nogger. Double nogger knocker to start this match off. Huge clothesline by Dick Durning, double nice. clothesline. Very nice double clothesline. These guys don't even know where they are now. No. Discombobulated. Chris Hicks in the corner getting worked on by Remy Petit in the opposite corner. Dick Durning putting boots into Jimmy Carr. 
Shano looks early on here as though Remy Petit and Dick Dernan are working together here. Ooh, are they having a chop contest? It looks like it. Ooh. I would not want to be the, on the receiving end of either one of these chops. Oh, hold on. Oh. Devastating chops in stereo. A show of respect now between Remy and Dick Dernan. We're down to uh, two men in the ring, two men outside the ring. Here we go. These two men are going to tear it up. Headlock by Dick Dernan. Remy trying to get out of it. Fired you've across the seen, ropes. Oh, never... Chris Hicks grabs the foot, pulls out <laughs> Dick Dernan, and a greaser oh. drives Dernan right into the post. That was payback for, uh, for the shot to the head there. Definitely. Man, oh man. I would not want to be Remy Petit right now. Being worked on in the corner by both men. Look at that, that's beautiful. And Matt Pettifer can't do anything about this. Everything is legal. All these double team maneuvers, totally legal for sure. Let me tell you something, these two men could be from out west. They call themselves Grease Country. Remy Petit rolling to the outside here. Oh, Jimmy Carr turning on Chris Hicks, firing Chris Hicks through the ropes. But your country idol holds on here. Uh, that's ring awareness right there, Langel. He's one of the only megastars, like I said earlier, one of the only megastars that when there's more guys in the ring, his chances increase of a victory. Shots to the midsection and a back <laughs> rake by Chris Hicks. Oh, I love it. Greaser with authority throwing Chris Hicks into the second rope. Is it? It is the running back rake, one of my favorite maneuvers in IHW. You said it earlier, Shano, that Chris Hicks, his chances are, are higher in this match. He's just got a higher likelihood of getting lucky. It could happen. Double shots in the midsection, they... Double clothesline, double eye poke, both men are down. It's like they're working from the same playbook here. Unfortunately, it's working against playbook? each other. Playbook, yes. Oh, okay. I thought you were getting vulgar again. No, 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 not at all, sir. Dick Durning still down outside the ring after being rammed head first into that post, now slowly making his way back in. Huge clothesline by the champion, and another. Oh! Dick giving it to both men. Stiff elbows to the jaws of both men there. Probably knocked a couple teeth loose. Huge clothesline into a backbreaker by Dick Durning. That was gorgeous. That was amazing. Now Jimmy Carr trying to get to his feet. Dick Durning taking the opportunity to help him. More and chops to the already tender chest. And then going. Oh! Whoa! Dick Durning through the ropes with a suicide dive at the same time, driving Jimmy Carr's head into the turnbuckle. Durning never ceases to amaze me. That was impressive. Now let me tell you something about all these high-risk maneuvers that he does. That's what happens. That's how you lose titles, by flipping and flopping and bipping and bopping, Daddy. Went for, credit a split where credit's due. went for a split leg at Moonsault and Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr. Yeah, Jimmy went for a split leg at Moonsault and Jimmy Carr got the knees up. Now, Remy Petit. Whoa! Someone Smart should man. check on Greaser. He just got crushed. Did he ever? That is I'm a pretty brilliant sure move out. by Remy Petit. Taking two men out of the equation with one move. He's literally just killed two birds with one stone. Speaking of brilliant, you saw country idol Chris Hicks on the outside Huge of the ring waiting spear. for his chance. Well done, man. Lots of innovation in this match. He turns right around into a code breaker. What did I tell you? This this is dangerous. I will lose my mind. Oh yeah, I feel better. Whoa! Whoa. Devastating Whoa. move by Dick Durning. Chris hits. What a match! What was that? That was incredible. Dick Dernan, out of nowhere, absolutely destroys your country idol, Chris Hicks. He is still down. I haven't seen Chris Hicks flip that much since they, since they got 
they stopped selling his favorite kind of beef jerky. Come on. Chris Hicks absolutely planted in the middle of the ring. The referee could have counted to 50 and it wouldn't have mattered. You got that right. Nerding Greaser, the Greaser Jimmy Carr! Greaser Jimmy Carr! <laughs> he just ah. cut the hair of Dazzling Dick Durning. <laughs> Don't run with scissors! Where did the scissors come from? Nothing but disrespect. We all knew you were a coward. Hey, you know what? I'll be a step ahead of you on this one. I know what you're planning. You're gonna go out back. You're gonna talk to your new BFF, Kurt, who, by the way, just lost in his opening match. And you guys are gonna try to take a shower together and figure out a plan. You're gonna figure out a plan to double team me sometimes tonight. So you know what? Kirk, I know you're paying attention backstage licking your wounds that Gary Williams inflicted on you. So this is a firm warning to you, Kirk. This is between me and Steve. If you decide to get your stupid, ugly face into my business, Let's just say I have a super kick with your name written all over it. Stern words from Julian Young. Shane Stevens what? asking for the mic. What's going on here? Just to let you know, Julian, if Kirk Obey thinks he's going to stick his nose in your business, no. Nah. Both him and Steve are going to have to deal with the two of us. Whoa, Shane Stevens stepping to the plate. Oh, look out for the guy who just lost. Hey, I got man, your back, he's got Julian. A lot of Don't heart. worry, buddy. A lot of heart, a good dude. Mutual respect, Rockstar. It's how you make how friends. How touching, how touching, how yeah, making cute friends doesn't make you win. You. you know what? I'm not worried about you, Shane Stevens. And Julian, I take it back. Later on tonight, your is on. Greaser, you stuck your beard in my business for the last time. You want to sneak up on me and cut my hair? I promise you one thing, boy. I'm taking your beard and I'm leaving with it.
Steve Arsenal on his way around ringside, not far behind the ex Big Beast, Kurt Bay. Where one goes, the other quickly follows. We saw a couple weeks ago on Unstoppable that Kurt Bay was instrumental in Steve Arsenal's victory. I said a couple weeks ago, he has no business being out here. Rockstar argued with me. There's a surprise. Well, I'm always right, and you two idiots are always wrong, so maybe you should listen to me. I Rockstar. do have to give credit where credit's due. Steve I Arsenal great. and the ex the ex bet beast, Kirk Bay, make a very good team. They're yeah, different. they do, and they're going to be a lot better as a team than these two who are a fly-by-night tag team in Julian Young and Shane Stevens. Nerds. Shane Stevens took on Julian Young last week. And his opponent from Moncton, But said he'd have his back in this match. Here comes Julian Young. Terrible, look at him. Look at him, he's like, yay, crowd, cheer for me, and I'll cheer for you. Julian Young playing at Smart. No, we're underway here. Back elbow by Julian Young. Steve Arsenault whipped across the ring and holds on and rolls <laughs> out to the floor. Now that's how you do it right there, Daddy. Julian going right out after with a baseball slide and Steve right back in. Going for a baseball slide was on and caught by a chop here by Julian Young out on and the you'll floor. And notice, you'll notice X-Fit Kirk Obey staying away, doing what is right. Something Only that because Julian the Young would not do. On him. Driving his head into the apron. It's not like this referee picks up anything anyway. Huge chop by Julian Young. Look at him, it looks like he has a barber's brush on his head. Give me a break, Rockstar. Brian McKay is one of the most seasoned veterans as a referee. In oh, he's seasoned all right. Kirk Bay grabs the feet of Julian Young, pulls him back out, and Steve Arsenault going to town now. Referee Brian McKay issuing a warning if he's not to careful, Kirk Bay. If he's not careful, he will get evicted. Kirk Obey up on the apron now, holding Julian Young. Steve Arsenault, what is going on here? Coming across the ring with the host. Oh. Both oh, we're going to see a super, super oh, kick. Oh my, come on. Down what a goes Kirk Obey. Oh, That's the floor. what you get, boys. That's what you get. His life student. Steve Obey, his life student, kicked in the face. That's not right. Huge drop kick by Steve Arsenal. Julian Young stunned in the corner here. Arsenal with a huge chop. Shades of the nature boy, Ric Flair. I think it's safe to say after that super kick to Kurt Obey, we're not going to see him again this match. No, I'm pretty sure that uh, huge that float, float over. over suplex. Julian kicks out at the count of two. There's no doubt in my mind, and there shouldn't be any of yours, that Steve Obey has every every point of the ability it takes to beat someone like Julian Young. Julian Young, a former IHW champion, nine years of Greco-Roman wrestling experience. Steve Obey has been, or excuse me, Steve Arsenal has been a champion all over the Maritimes, including right here in IHW. Uh, he was one of the uh, IHWI champions before it became the TV title. You're right, he was. I know I'm right, I'm always right. Huge chops by Julian in the corner. Firing Steve across the ropes. Julian setting up now. Into the corner with a huge splash. That'll knock the wind out of you. Yeah, Julian Very using quickly. corners again like a cheater he is. And another and one there for you, Langel. That's two. Going for a third. No, reversed by Steve Arsenal. He catches him. Oh, <laughs> huge <laughs> kick to the chest by Steve Arsenal. That's right. You give some, you gotta take some, Daddy, and that's 
Julian Young getting his comeuppance. You guys just like him because he has the same haircut you do. Look at the cockiness of Steve Arsenal here. It's not cockiness, it's confidence. There's a difference. I know you don't understand that, Lanzo. What are Jul we going to see here? Julian Young oh. caught by a running <laughs> drop kick from the floor. I got to say, that was beautiful. That was. Julian holding his eye here. No surprise, and no surprise job. at all there. Steve Arsenal talking some trash. No, definitely. We heard him last week He's here on commentary. It's not trash when it's truth, Daddy. Julian Young now trapped in a chin lock. Except he's talking about the trash that's around the ring, and that is true. Right. Thank you. I'm glad you agree with Kurt Cobain. Rockstar. These guys pay your bills. Is still down. Huge elbow. This whole audience combined doesn't make enough money to pay my bills, Daddy. Yeah. Julian thrown over the top rope, hangs on, shoulder to the midsection. Oh, devastating forearm. Julian, with his own momentum, came across that top rope and ran into nothing but a forearm. Now kicked out to the floor. Like him or hate him, Steve is doing a fantastic job. Now mocking Julian Young by duplicating his jumping jacks. Look, look at the perfect form on those jumping jacks. Julian Young should be watching. Steve Arsenal going out to the floor after Julian now. Referee Brian McKay issuing an account here. Rolls Julian back in. Didn't want to waste any time. You can't win the match out on the floor. He's wasting too much time. Jaw jacking with the jaw jacking with the crowd. He got caught. Julian now with chops from the top oh, yeah. rope. Julian Young showing his true colors again, grabbing a guy in the corner. Huge forearm. Forearm club there by Julian. Looks like he's setting up for a superplex. If he hits this, it could be over. Devastating Man. superplex. Man. Both men are down. Referee Brian McKay issuing a double count here. And Shano Kirk Obey is still nowhere to be seen. What I say, that is a testament to the power behind Julian Young's super kick. Definitely. Brian McKay up to four here. You know what the thing I noticed is? Julian Young flat on his back. That's what I noticed. I noticed Steve Arsenal's in the same position. I also want to say He's just having a for rest. the viewers at home, if the referee reaches a count of 10, this contest is a draw. Yes. Yes, because no one who watches wrestling knows any of the rules. There's newcomers out there, Chris Cole. Both men back to their feet. It's a chop fest right now. Trading chops back and forth. Who's going to gain an advantage here? Arsenal was down to one knee for a second. He's back up. Now he's back down. A crimson red on both of these men's chest. Those chops are devastating. Whips him across the ropes. Clothesline. Back elbow. Julian Young going back to the well. I don't think that's a good idea, Daddy. Huge drop kick in the middle of the ring here. Julian. Julian showing Steve Arsenal how it's done. He's going for that top rope. This is with the elbow. Nobody home. Last week, Steve Arsenal said he had that scouted. Going for a zigzag, Whoa. misses it. Nice bridging German suplex. Holy smokes. And oh, not only enough. Two. Steve only likes of Steve Arsenal. Steve Arsenal kicks out at the very last second. Referee, Barely kicks out. Referee Brian McKay saying it's only a two count. That was close, though. I have to give lucky credit. it was a one count. I have to give credit where it's due. Most men wouldn't have been able to come out of that. Most men aren't Steve Arsenal, Daddy. I don't disagree, Rockstar. As well you should. Julian misses with the splash in the corner. Held up on the top rope now. He's, he's trapped here in the middle of the ring. St Steve Arsenal has him here. Huge Death Valley driver hooks the leg. And Only two, I thought it was over. I did too, Julian Young is resilient, kicks out. How much did that take out of Julian Young though, Shano? Oh, that took a lot out of him, there's no doubt. No, huge chop now. Julian being lit up with the
these chops. I've seen men's chest bleed from chops. They're definitely devastating. Swinging neck breaker, no. Julian Kicked pushing him away. Section. A fisherman neck oh, breaker. Right on Holy the knees. smokes. Devastating if Julian Young doesn't capitalize on this. He's making a huge mistake. Looks like he's calling for the super kick. He's if this isn't the end, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, Kirk Obey. Kirk oh. Obey, huge nails him from behind. Referee Brian McKay calling for the bell. bell. Ring the bell. This is just ridiculous. See, this is why it drives me crazy. It was a fantastic match up until this point, and then Kurt Obey is going to come in here and ruin it for everybody. Both men putting the boots to Julian Young here. Just eating punches through the head and big blows to the back. Shane, Shane Stevens. Stevens. He said he'd have his back. Here he is getting rid of those people. And he's carrying a kendo stick. Of course, cowardice prevails. Steve Arsenal, <clears throat> Steve Arsenal and Kurt Obey running for the hills. Well, maybe not running, but getting out of there pretty darn quick. Well, the damage has been done, Shano. Julian Young, the victim of a two-on-one no right assault. Being out here. No right does he have being out here. Shane Stevens says he had his back, and there he is, just when he needs him the most. If only he wasn't out here earlier, maybe we would have seen a proper ending to what was, regardless, a fantastic match. Shane Absolutely Stevens outstanding. is a piece of garbage. Absolutely outstanding match. A piece of garbage. He has no right being out here. Julian looking frustrated by what happened. Can you blame him for being frustrated? Sure, he got the W, but it's not the same. He wanted to pin Steve Arsenal's shoulders to the mat for the one, two, three. Julian, exactly. exactly. He's saying he wanted to win by three count, win with authority. It's still a win in the record book, but not the way Julian Young wanted it to be. Of course. Shane Stevens has no business being out here. It's disgusting. Rockstar, Are you, you kidding keep me? Somebody's got to have his back. Somebody had to have Julian Young's back, life and coach, it was Shane Stevens. Life coach and life student, they have the right to be out here together. Shane Stevens trying to, you know, cheer up Julian Young. That's Julian right, having right. none yeah, of yeah. it. Buy him a cake and get out of the ring. A, a win's a win, Julian. Move on. Yeah, whatever. Get over. That's right. Julian, yeah, he's yeah. a loser. Julian, yeah. He's a loser. Celebrating now. Shane Stevens was right. Look at him. Julian Young now going for the, yeah. See, the push. The smiles yeah. come back to his face. There he is. Knows. Disgusting. A win's a win, man. Shane had your back. Don't even worry now about it. Now switching from push-ups to sit-ups. Right. There's the, the kick up. Look out. No! <laughs> I knew it. Are you kidding me? I knew it all along. Shane Stevens all. levels Julian Young with that kendo stick. I knew it. He baited him in. He baited him <laughs> in. And what a cheap shot from Shane Stevens. I knew it all along. You guys were none the wiser. Of course. Steve Arsenal now pointing to his head <laughs> like he's smarter than everyone else. Like it was his he brilliant is. idea. It is. Give me he a break. He's smarter than everyone else. Disgusting. He's smarter than YouTube. Please. Oh, yeah, guys. That's right. Too Bunch sweet of it up. Billies. Look Too at this. Sweet it up. In a show of unity, all three men here, Kirk Obey, Steve Arsenal, and Shane Stevens. Makes me sick to my stomach. Steve. Shane Stevens. You're Shane a piece Stevens of saying he's You're a piece of garbage. He's got all you towny idiots tricked. Shane Stevens <laughs> signaling that he was swinging for the fences. Look at Julian Young. Draping him scumbag. over the top. Really? We're going to see a caning here. On IHW Unstoppable. It's this a is wonderful fantastic. thing. A wonderful thing. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Devastating. Somebody needs to get out here. Seriously, is nobody oh, no going to come to the rescue? Out here. Lock the doors. Oh. Nobody coming out to help Julian Young? Yeah, that's right. Nobody. He hasn't made any friends in the last 11 years of IHW. Steve Arsenal directing traffic here. Do it just makes me sick. I have to say, Shano, it looks as though, it looks as though he was the mastermind behind this. <laughs> Devastating <laughs> shot to the back of the head. <laughs> Julian Young is in trouble here. Steve uh, Arsenal. 
calling for something else here. What's he up to? Exit Kirk Obey. Oh, here it is. This what is, is it, this right now? This is gorgeous. This is what this is. Oh! <laughs> A zigzag from at least six feet in the air. What a wonderful thing. I have never been happier. Julian Young has been Just left laying. Julian I, Young has been destroyed here. I have I, never been happier. And what makes me even happier than this is knowing that there's no one out here to help him. No one has the guts to come out to the ring and try and stop these three men. Just Unbelievable. Disgusting. These three men should be ashamed of themselves. In this last year, there's been the rookie of the year in everybody's midst that the office wanted to ignore. Now he's with us. They say on TV that this man is a rookie. This man is a veteran of this business for 10 years. Red Warrior, no, this is the Red Dragon. Well, no, 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 you're not the Red Dragon because they wouldn't let you have your name. They made you change it for Chicken <laughs> Dragon out back. Flago. Who? Dragon X, the X Dragon. We got the X Fist Beast, and we have X Rated Steve Arsenal. The three exiles of this company now are Exile! Come on now, that's just. What is this vendetta that he has against the office? No more Marcus Burke, no more Titus, no more Julian Young. The status quo in this company just changed. The landscape has definitely changed in IHW. Yeah, the office held them back. They were in the ring every damn show. Look at these three men. Is there anyone that can stand against the dominance of them these three men are capable of? I'll answer for you two idiots, no. I'll tell you this much, these three men together spells trouble for IHW. I agree, Shano. <laughs> Julian Young has been absolutely decimated, and it all seems to have been a mastermind plan by these three men, put together by X-rated Steve Arsenal. Look at Julian Young not moving in an inch. Come on, guys, enough's enough. <laughs> Handing the kendo stick. This makes me sick to my stomach. Over to Steve Arsenal. Nothing good's gonna come out of this. I, I see lots of good coming out of this. It's making me happy. Come on, guys, enough's enough. It's Julian, making me extremely happy. Julian's unconscious on his feet here. Look at him. Somebody needs up. to get out of here. Oh, 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 there we go. Chip Chambers, Remy Petit coming in to finally save the day. Look at this. Not a moment too Look at late. the arrogance. The it's arrogance on Steve Whoa. Arsenal's face. Wow. If he could see my hand right now, he'd see something X-rated. Those three men showing their dominance. Let's just hope that Julian doesn't get any gravy on him because Randy Poutine will eat him. It's not the time, Rockstar. Not I think the it's time exactly at all. The, you guys shot your faces. Julian Young, if he was frustrated before, oh, he's grabbed a microphone. You know what, Steve? It wasn't enough. I'm still standing. You weren't standing three seconds ago. Rockstar, that man took a beating. Well deserved beating. Look at beating. the welts on his back, Rockstar. The, I'm looking and I'm loving it. The fact that he's not being stretchered out here. The goose egg on his head. The goose egg on his head, the welts on his back. Are you kidding me? Someone should slap him in the face for good measure. 
You're a real piece of work, Rockstar. A piece of excellent, awesome work. Julian showing thankfulness for the help that he received from Remy Petit and Chip Chambers. Disgusting. They had no right coming out here. They had no business out here. You've got to be kidding me. Bunch of cowards coming and attacking from behind. You know, they say there's no guarantees in life. But Marcus Burke, what is guaranteed tonight is that if you mess with the biggest dog in the yard, you're going to get bit. And tonight, I'm going to rip your head off and take my title back. I'm going to knock you out. Get from in front of me. Because I'm coming in with the battalion behind me. I'm going to knock you out. Coming at you every Thursday, it's the podcast that constantly asks WTF. My name's Brian Landry. I'm the rockstar Chris Cole, daddy! And we are the hosts of What's the Finish, a maritime-produced podcast that covers music, sports, video games, and all things pop culture while counting down to the big finish, the biggest story of the week. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and iTunes. It's What's the Finish, available every Thursday. Let me tell you something, Langel daddy I'm here with Greaser Jimmy Carr. Now that was an appalling move that you did, cutting the television champion's hair. Appalling? You thought that was appalling? Yeah. I thought it was great. It was wonderful. You didn't see? You could use a haircut, dick. Let me tell you something. This long hair of yours, I know you're just jealous. You're just jealous of this. So let me tell you, next time, I'm coming for a hell of a lot more than a simple little lock of hair. I'm coming for that television title. You can't do anything about it, and you never will, because the greaser's coming for you, and he's gonna grease ya. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a 15-man over-the-top battle royal to determine the number one contender for the IHW Championship. One of these three men will earn a championship match against Riddick Stone. Will it be Titus, Steve Arsenal, or Marcus Burke? Marcus Burke and Steve Arsenal, one of these two men, will earn a championship opportunity here. Marcus Burke! Marcus Burke has done it! Will Marcus Burke step aside and protect the title for Riddick, or will he make a challenge for the IHW Championship? What you're going to see is Marcus Burke laying here on the mat. I will pin him, and both him and I will go off and party and celebrate for being the best duo. We are friends, but I, I am a fighter. Now I'm going to give you some time to go back in the back and sit there and clear your brain and think about things and maybe, just maybe, you'll wisen up enough to not make the stupidest decision of your life. The following contest is your main event of the evening and it is for the IHW Heavyweight Championship. I think, uh, whoa. Riddick, Riddick Stone asking him to lay down. There's your answer! Marcus Burke laying in the red stone Marcus Burke, you made a big mistake 
when you took my title. Tonight, we're in your hometown, in front of your family, in front of your friends, and I'm gonna make each and every one of them cry when I kick your teeth, break down your throat, and take back what's mine. Tonight, Red and Stone, I'm going to kick, punch, and knee you in the face! Vegan! No, 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 no! I had you! Rick Stone, I had you! Ladies and gentlemen, I have breaking news! We will have a rematch for the IHW Heavyweight Championship! It'll be champion Marcus Burke versus Riddick Stone in a last man standing match! It is now time for your main event of the evening! And it is a last man standing match for the IHW Heavyweight Championship! This is gonna be a war! Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the icon of destruction come out here and decimate the soon-to-be former Innovative hybrid wrestling champion, Daddy. You nailed the hammer. You hit the nail on the head, Lanjo. It's gonna be a war. Riddick Stone standing in the aisleway here. He eclipses everything in front of him. The icon of destruction, as Rockstar likes to call him. He is the challenger tonight. And he could be 1F5 away from becoming the two-time IHW champion. Not that I want to count out Marcus Burke, but that F5 is devastating, Shano. There is no doubt about it, Lanjo. The scary thing about last man standing matches, one of the most dangerous and grueling matches in all of wrestling, no matter who you are, it shortens careers. Many times, the participants are injured, bloodied, battered. They leave, they're never the same again. I'll tell ya, I'm putting my money on Marcus Burke. He's been on fire lately. He's been killing it, but look at the man in front of us right now. Exactly. If you were gonna be afraid of any man, it would be this man right here. I do not envy Marcus Burke, but I'm hoping he finds a way to make it happen. Well, we're about to find out I hope he ate his spinach. We're awaiting the entrance of the champion. Here comes the former champion. There he is. IHW champion Marcus Burke. No music necessary for Marcus Burke. Just the adulation uh, of the IHW fans. Listen to them. They're on their feet. Of course he doesn't need music. You two noobs are still talking. We've got a vegan section over there. This is fantastic. Why don't you guys go back, play your PlayStations or Xboxes or X stations or whatever you got, your play boxes. I don't know. It's, it's Xbox and PlayStation. I said those. I just don't think you know because you can't afford them. <laughs> Listen, I'm a rock star. Yeah, I know. I've got tons of money. Yeah, you play a lot All of rock over band? the place. Do you know what that is? I don't know how to work that. You don't, you don't know what that no. is? Okay. No, I play real instruments. Mm. In this, front of real people. The crowd throwing streamers here, showing support for Marcus Burke, the how champion. The well-deserved champion, this guy, man. I, I agree. Hear you, you two talking, it makes me think of armchair, armchair quarterbacks. Except you guys are armchair. I'm not even going to go there. Rockstar, this match is for the richest prize in maritime wrestling, the IHW Championship. That is the only intelligent thing either one of you have said all night. This is a last man standing match. 
the first man who does not meet the referee's 10 count will be declared the loser. Introducing first the challenger from Fall River, Nova Scotia, weighing in at 282 pounds, Riddick. And his opponent, he hails from Campbellton, New Brunswick, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is the IHW Heavyweight Champion, Marcus Burke. The man of the hour, the man with the power. Hey, he, he is not intimidated at all here. Well, then he's stupid. Both men exchanging words in the middle of the ring. These men went from the best of friends to the worst of enemies pretty darn quick when it came to the gold. And let me tell you something, anyone who's not intimidated by the icon of destruction, Riddick Stone, needs to have their head examined, Daddy. Of course, I'm sure they'll do that when Marcus Burke is in the hospital later on tonight. Brian McKay holding up the title. This is what it's all about. Here we go. We are underway. There is the bell. The title is on the line. The tension is in the air. It's that big match feel. There's nothing quite like it, guys. There's a reason why it's the big match feel. It's because it's a big match, Shano. The biggest in an innovative of hybrid wrestling this year. A huge shove by Riddick Stone. Marcus fires back with a kick to the midsection. Forearms by Marcus Burke and an uppercut. Very nice stiff short forearm blows and a European uppercut to top it off. Look at the frustration now on Riddick Stone. Didn't take long for Marcus Burke to get under the skin of Riddick Stone, the challenger, oh. out on the floor here. Of course he's gonna get under his skin. He's a dirty cheater. But the thing is, Riddick Stone he can't be counted out. This is a last man standing match. That's right, this thing could go all the way down. Marcus Burke way. up over the top rope. Oh, he's caught by the big man. <laughs> These guys could fight all over the city until he one man stays down for a 10 count. There is no winner. Oh, you're not gonna get Riddick Stone to stay down that easily, he Marcus just got Burke. His, he just had his head driven into that post. This could be it. I. He should be counting the post to not Riddick Stone. Four. Referee's up to four. Five. He's up. Stop counting. Riddick Stone back to his feet. Yeah. Marcus Burke over yeah. the top rope. Yeah. Ah. Down goes Riddick Stone. This is going to be Marcus Burke's downfall. He keeps chanting and yelling vegan at these idiots in this audience. That will be his downfall in this match, is paying attention to them instead of the icon of destruction, Riddick Stone. I will admit, right there, like a he has to keep focused. Marcus Burke just pulled out the hardware. That's a table. That's very good, Langel. That's a table, and those are chairs, and that's a wrestling ring. You can see it. Marcus Burke plans on pulling out all the stops. He's already used his body as a weapon. Now we got a table that's definitely going to come into play. He better watch out, because it's very possible that Riddick Stone's going to pick him up, start swinging him around, and using his body as a weapon, too. Daddy. If anybody could do it, it would be Riddick Stone. I'm aware of that. That's why I said that. Marcus Burke. Setting up that table, bad intentions. You need to loosen up your hat there. Squeezing Riddick the Stone oh, comes man. over and is caught by Marcus oh. Burke. Oh, come on. That was a stiff shot right to the jaw. And nice a forearm. Yeah, it looked like the forearm landed in the same place as the fist. 
And Marcus Burke turns his attention back to that table. Look at this audience member. Look at this. Out. Last man standing. There's that no rules, sick. baby. That makes me sick. Marcus Burke grabs a hold of the challenger. Oh. Elbow to the oh. midsection and a clobber and ah. forearm. Down goes Marcus oh. Burke out on the floor here. How quickly the tide has changed, gentlemen. <laughs> and we're going back in the ring, boys. I'll tell you right now, the tide certainly has turned. Oh. Huge what drop kick by on. Marcus Burke. Did you see that? It grabbed him right by the hair. What a pretty drop kick, With man. Super effective, right on the money. Riddick Stone is down here. Marcus Burke going out and looks like he's going to the top rope here. And he's oh. caught by the Marcus oh. Burke crashes through <laughs> that table. <laughs> oh, man. That's what he gets. I have a That's feeling the gets. tides just turned. Marcus Burke introduced that table to the match. You know what? You keep saying the tide has turned. Let me tell you right now, the tide just went out, Daddy, on Marcus Burke's championship reign. That did not work out for Marcus Burke at all. The referee, Brian McKay, is up to the count of four. That was absolutely devastating. Marcus Burke crashing through that table to the concrete floor from the top row. Marcus Burke is going to have to dig deep to get back on his feet after that. He's trying, Shano. He looks to be favoring that arm. And caught from behind by Riddick Stone. And if he's, and if he's favoring the arm, Riddick Stone is a ring general. He's going to be favoring that same arm too, Daddy. Like a shark that smells blood. Devastating, driving his back into that ring apron. But he does have 12 pounds of gold. Into the post. Well, right now he's dealing with 289 pounds, a monster. Brian McKay issuing another count here. I like when Shano doesn't say anything. I'm just, I'm blown away. I was really hoping, uh, I was really hoping that it would go the other way right now. Marcus Burke crashing through that table has changed the entire outlook of this match. You could, yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself, Langel. I'm just, uh, I'm worried. I don't blame you, Shano. This is not a good position for Marcus Burke. His title Jeez. reign is definitely in jeopardy. It's as if Riddick Stone can smell the blood in the water right now. I'll tell you right now, Riddick Stone treated that table like he treats a table after a meal. No one else is worthy to use it, so he smashes it, Daddy. Just in the, the smithery! The viciousness behind these blows from Riddick Stone. He, Sorry, go ahead, Shano. No, I just, I, I'm good, man. I just, I don't know. Repeated, yeah. repeated shots to the back. Now Riddick Stone mocking Marcus Burke. Marcus Burke is down. Riddick Stone showing his strength. Absolutely dominant right now. Marcus Burke holding his ribs. It's a wonder. Look at the, look at the arms on this man. He's clubbing Marcus Burke like a seal. It's beautiful. Huge clothesline in the corner and another, and he's holding him in place while this is happening. Watch the velocity that Marcus Burke's head snaps back. Look at you with the big word. Back and to the left. And he, and he throws the champion to the mat with authority. Marcus Burke is down. Referee Brian McKay issuing a count. As I was saying, after those clotheslines and the velocity of which his head was snapping back, he could very well have whiplash. Riddick Stone telling Brian McKay to continue the count. He has to until Marcus Burke gets to his feet. Marcus Burke is to his knees. I've said it again, Marcus Burke's so pedantic. Look at these plebeians. They're pandering and placating to this vegan cause because they were told to. Misses with the kick and is absolutely crushed into the middle of the ring. Two months ago, they hated this man. Now they like him. 
disgusting. Look at them. All eating broccoli and lettuce. It's all we need. More healthy idiots to last a long time. Would you stop, Rockstar? Apparently not. We are in the middle of the biggest championship match in the history of IHW, and now Riddick Stone unloading with right hand after right hand. Yeah, you know what? We're in the middle of the biggest match this year in Innovative Hybrid Wrestling for the Innovative Hybrid Wrestling Championship. Spoiler alert, Riddick Stone is the man. Marcus Burke being stomped repeatedly. Trying to use the ropes to get to his feet. Whoa. Any way he can get to his feet to stop this count. If Brian McKay reaches 10, he loses the championship. Look Riddick's at him fighting to his feet. Never giving up. He might, I, he won't give up. He's not gonna stay down. It's not gonna end well. No. Riddick Stone drives Marcus Burke into the corner. Marcus Burke fires back with a clothesline. Down goes the big man. 10 seconds is all it takes. That's right, gather your composure, take a breather. The stamina this takes out of I you. I say if nobody gets up, Riddick still gets the championship. Why? Because, shut up. Brian McKay issuing a double counter, he's up to four. Marcus Burke using the ropes to get to his feet. His ribs clearly affected already in this match. Kick to the midsection, trying to move power. Riddick Stone with authority, rip, whips him into the corner and a clothesline. Marcus Burke walks out of the corner and is absolutely leveled by Riddick Stone. He's a monster. Start the count, it's over. A monster is the right term. Brian McKay telling Riddick Stone to back away, let him do his job. He's up to the count of five. Riddick is taunting him, telling Riddick Stone, or telling Marcus Burke to just stay down. Another big right hand from Riddick Stone. For the record, Williams had to count that fast. Marcus Burke is Otherwise down again. What was that, Rockstar? You heard me. No, I... I That's too bad for you. For once, we didn't. Look at the arms on that man. Marcus Burke still fighting back. Shots to the midsection. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. Not a lot behind them right now, but who can blame a scoop and a slam by Riddick Stone. Riddick Stone has a strategy here, and it just got worse. He picked up a steel chair. Clearly working on the midsection. That F5, that is definitely with its focus. He's looking for the F5, and if he hits it, I uh, don't. We're going to see Marcus Burke kick Shane, back Shane, anyone up. ever tell you you sound like that stupid robot from Buck Rogers? That's wait a minute, a minute. That's How old are you? Oh, shot to the midsection <laughs> with that chair. That chair is as legal as a wrist lock right now. Marcus Burke has introduced the weapons into this match. This is his comeuppance. This is what he deserves for being scum. He's got that right against his throat, Rockstar. This is terrible. My favorite part is that his dad's here watching this happen, Daddy. Come on, Rockstar. And Brian McKay <laughs> is helpless to stop any of this. Well, Wedging the chair between the ropes now. Brian McKay has one job tonight, and it's to count to 10. Everything else is legal. That's why this match is so dangerous, Shano. What, you don't talk to me now? I don't blame him. Oh, with authority, Marcus Burke whipped directly <laughs> into that steel chair. I don't know how much more the champion oh. can take. This could be it, man. That was Woo! devastating. Absolutely total Three. annihilation. Wonderful. Power. Rockstar. Yes? This could be the end of the reign of Marcus Burke. That's what I've been saying all night! Riddick Stone taunting the crowd. Marcus Burke rolls to the middle of the ring. The only... 
the only reason he didn't lose the title last time he faced Riddick Stone is because his buddies came running to the ring. That's not how I remember it at all. Yeah, That's not me wrong. Marcus Burke fighting back here. Shots to the midsection. And there goes that. Riddick Stone with one shot drops Marcus Burke. <laughs> this is what we call domination. Oh, into that steel in chair again. He's going to make sure Marcus Burke leaves here in a stretcher, then leaves the hospital in a wheelchair, Daddy. You're a sick Woo! man, Rockstar. <laughs> Riddick Stone showing absolutely no remorse for the damage that he's unleashing right now. And why should he? This man stole his championship when he was supposed to be his friend. You know I'm rooting for Marcus Burke. I just, I don't know how he's gonna come back from this. I so hate now. You're confused and you root for a canal. Referee's up to seven. Jeez. Again, shot to the midsection with that steel chair. It's over! Yeah. Oh, Riddick Stone no. saying it's over. Oh no, he's not gonna do what I think he's gonna do, is he? Looks like he's cinching up, oh, God. lining him up with that steel chair. Shano, I think he's going for the F5. I'm that's, telling you right now. He is. About. He hoists him up for the F5. F5 him on that chair. It's Marcus game Burke. over. Marcus oh, Burke, oh, DDT, oh, onto oh, the steel God. chair. Riddick Stone has his head driven into that steel chair. Come on, Marcus, get back on your feet. There's no way that's enough, and I'll tell you right now. Marcus Burke is going to go down in three hits. Riddick Stone hitting him, him hitting the ground, and the ambulance hitting 180, taking him to the hospital, Daddy. Marcus Burke trying to get to his feet. Holding on to the ropes here. Riddick Stone just starting to move now. That was absolutely devastating. Both men down on one knee. Huge forearm by Marcus Burke. Trading blows now. Forearms for clubs. The last thing you should be doing, and it's clubs for forearms, the last thing you should be doing is trading blows with a man of the stature of the soon to be champion, Riddick Stone. Marcus Burke has so, no intentions of giving up here. So much heart from Marcus Burke right now. He's actually got a reeling. Nice big clubbing wheel windmill blows. His wild punches are gonna get him nowhere against this man. It's effective, Rockstar. It's working. Charges into the corner, double knee. Places Riddick Stone on the top rope. Another right hand and another. Marcus Burke has turned the tide here. Marcus Burke throwing haymakers. Doing this whatever is, he can. This is not a good idea for Marcus Burke. He's taken too much damage. It just shows that his brain is not functioning after taking all of these hits from the monster. How Marcus Burke is even on his feet right now is incredible. Setting up for a superplex. Shot oh. to the back by Riddick Stone. Back to that midsection. And he throws the champion down, but Marcus Burke immediately runs back into the corner. I think it's safe to say, if he lands this, this will be the first time. Oh no, no, I just Repeated jinxed it. Jinxed it. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. And Marcus just crumbles to the canvas. But he's back up. Huge uppercut by Marcus Burke. Oh, come on. You Riddick can see Riddick Stone. Here. Riddick Stone second guessed himself just before he left. And he never should have done that. He should have just went for it. It gave Marcus Burke the chance to turn the tables once again. All you need is a split second, and everything can change. You remember that. Big you remember men. that at second nine when Marcus Burke is on the ground. Marcus Burke now grabs a hold of Riddick Stone. Not a chance. Trying to get the big man up here. Oh, Look at man. the power. Elbows nice. in the small of the back. Right to the spine. Huge kick by the champion. Follow, followed up by forearms. Oh, he got oh, caught. No. He got caught. Oh, no, 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 no. Here no. it is. It's Riddick over. Stone with the <laughs> That is it. That the is worst it. part about this right now is I feel like I just got to sit here for 10 seconds. 
Riddick immediately rolling to the corner. Riddick telling the referee to count. Riddick is to his feet, guys. Oh, come on. We're at, up we're at five, Rep. and Marcus Burke hasn't moved. Six. He'll move when the, when the ambulance gets here and the EMTs come in and take him He's out of that He's starting to stir He's at seven. Stir. I don't think it's enough. He's Ready? Ready? Come on, Marcus Burke. Get to your feet. He's got... No. Fighting. Nine. Come on, Marcus. Marcus, he did it. He beat the count. He's oh, to his feet. On. That come was second on. nine, Rockstar. That was second nine. It's a debacle. Riddick Stone can't believe it. Very nice drop kick to the knee, sending him face first into the middle turnbuckle. Marcus with a kick to the back of the head. Marcus Burke now on the offense. Up he goes. Set it up, Riddick Stone. This is how he won the title in the first place. This could be it. We've seen this before. Oh, Huge knee. Riddick Count Stone right down. in the game. Count the damn Not a chance. chance. Not a chance. Referee issuing the count. Riddick Stone had his bell rung. Marcus Getting a three Park. count is one thing. I don't know if Riddick's had enough damage. No, man, I don't think this is it. I hope it is, but I don't think it is. Marcus Burke sizing him up here. Look at him. Look up by the up. Like a Huge nice clothesline. clothesline. Come on, don't. Keep on him, Marcus. Keep on him. Again. Again, chatting with this audience. Chatting with the audience. This is his downfall, is this audience right here. These people, he keeps talking to them and looking for looking at them for oh, adulation man. and for acceptance. It's the dumbest move he can possibly make. It's looking for acceptance from these people. He went outside and got that table. I thought it broke, but he's clearly got different plans. Oh, and he's man. wasting time. Riddick Stone to his knees. Riddick just getting to his feet. Marcus Burke with a forearm. And he's caught by the big man. He's got him cinched up for the F5. No, no, Marcus no. Burke with multiple elbows. Oh, <laughs> Down God. goes Marcus Burke. It's it. That's it. It's over. It's over. Rockstar, he went out to get that table. You said he was wasting too much time. And I was right. You because were... I'm always right. You were because right, I Rockstar. am the rock star, Chris Cole, Daddy O. <laughs> Riddick Stone on his hands and knees here, but definitely in control of this match as he pulls himself up with the ropes. Marcus Burke is down. Referee Brian McKay, I can't quite see what the count is. Eight. Marcus Burke grabbing a hold of the ropes. No, nope, he's he's oh, up. Nine, he's up he's again. Up, but unfortunately, no, no, no. he doesn't Look do out, the, Marcus. the freight oh, train man. coming. And Marcus oh, Burke man. gets speared into that table. I hate to admit it, Riddick Stone may have hurt himself on that. It may have not been the smartest choice to do a spear. That table didn't break, gentlemen. Those two. That mammoth of a man put Marcus Burke. That's a good 500 pounds going through that table. The hell's that table made of? Off. Oh, it bounced off. Marcus oh. Burke is folded up like an accordion. He is not moving after Woo. that spear. It's made of my dreams, impossible to break. Riddick Stone. Riddick Stone Woo. holding on to the ropes. Both men stirring now at the five count. I can't believe Marcus Burke is getting like getting up so quickly, honestly. Marcus Burke could have broken ribs, Shano. I wouldn't be surprised. Both men are up. A back elbow. Riddick Stone rocked. Oh, he picks up. Oh! Did you see the velocity Did of Marcus notice? Burke bouncing off that table? And he hit Riddick. They knock noggins. Both men are down. Riddick Stone, I have never seen that much velocity. He could have whiplash from that alone. It's almost helpful when the table breaks, I'll tell you that right now. This probably hurts about 10 times more because it's giving resistance, somehow giving resistance to the awesome power that is the icon of destruction. Brian McKay issuing a count. Riddick Stone rolls out to the floor. Marcus Burke has not moved. No, Marcus Burke is moving. Are you kidding me right this now? This is unbelievable. 
Look at this. Look at this. Brian McKay helping him up. He's, He's not just, helping him He's up. He's helping Rockstar. him up. Once again, I'm at a loss for words, guys. Hold I his just... hand, helping him up. Riddick Stone outside the ring grabs a sheet of plywood. That's uh, that's one of the boards they use to put the ring together. A spare board. The backup board. Riddick just, Stone. Don't keep I the kids so up here. concerned for Marcus Burke right now. Words can't describe what's happening I'm concerned happening here. that he might be back. Shots to the midsection. Come Marcus on, is Marcus. still fighting. No! Not again! <laughs> Marcus Burke, back body drop through that Four. replacement piece of the ring. How much more can Marcus Burke possibly take here, guys? Three. Brian McKay issuing a count. It could be academic Four. at this point. Oh, if it's academic, then Brian McKay's the wrong person to be counting. He's Marcus Burke could not catch a break. Not at all. He's at six. And look at this, Riddick, ready to destroy him. The freight train is on the track. He's going to spear him to Hades. Oh. This is it right here. No! <laughs> Marcus Burke has been destroyed. This Marcus has been like watching a train wreck. M Marcus Burke is not moving. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. It's more like watching, oh, let's say a Volkswagen Beetle hitting an 18-wheeler. The Volkswagen Beetle never looks the same again, Daddy. Marcus Burke is definitely not playing the role of the 18-wheeler in that situation, Rockstar. You got that right, Landry. Thanks there, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. He's still fighting. Marcus Burke using the ropes to get... What? He's not up yet. No! Here is your winner and the new IHW Heavyweight Champion, Riddick Stone! Well, Riddick Stone has done it! <laughs> I knew it! Your champion! The icon of destruction! Riddick Stone! Destruction is the is the key word, Rockstar. Marcus Burke has been destroyed. The key word is what? champion! And the other key word is Riddick Stone! Just say it quickly so it's one word. Unbelievable what we just saw here. You're the only people here that think it's unbelievable. I've been saying it since the beginning, Daddy. Riddick Stone has the mic. <laughs> Brian McKay asking Riddick Stone to back off. Wow, he's issuing a, a hand of friendship here and helps Marcus Burke to his feet. Oh, come on. Don't you do it too. I can't. I just... Wait a minute. Way too many handshakes tonight. They were friends before they were enemies, Rockstar. Don't forget that. You know, for the past two years, Marcus Burke, Mr. Suave, and I have been the best tag team in maritime wrestling, bar none. Life partners. You know, Marcus Burke, I've met a lot of people, and over the past two years, you truly have become one of my greatest friends in the wrestling industry. You're going on to greener pastures, and I'll miss you. You've made me a better performer. I love you, man, and I wish you nothing but respect. I'm going to leave you here for a couple minutes with your fans.
You know, it's been a crazy ride. <sighs> you made me who I am today. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm moving on for a little while, but I promise you I'll be back. 100% I'll be back. <laughs> Burke trying to say goodbye to the fans of IHW. <laughs> and Riddick Stone capping off the exclamation mark on his title win. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for once again tuning in. Innovative of Hybrid Wrestling Unstoppable, right here on TV One on Bella Lion Fiber Rock. Thanks to all our sponsors. This is a rock star, Chris Call, for Brian Langell and for Shane. I'll say good night, everybody. We'll see you next time, Daddy.